Hey everyone, this is a tutorial for Mina Reishi's Love Live School Idol Festival 4.0 Team Builder. Um, I find it one of the best tools that I use for helping me with Love Live, and I've also seen a lot of commentary that it can be hard to understand or people don't know how to use it. So I thought that a video tutorial might be helpful for people if they want to use this tool themselves. So um, I've pulled it up here. The URL is venus.dti.ne.jp slash nobody.other slash. Um, the website initially comes up in Japanese, but for most of us, I believe, we will want to be choosing the English option in the upper right-hand corner. And once you choose it, the cookies in your computer should keep it so that it always comes up as English when you come back to the website. So the first thing you want to do, and this can be the most time-consuming step, is add all of your cards into the system. So the way we're going to do that is over in the left-hand menu, we're going to go to Add Cards via Thumbnail. And this pulls up a screen that conveniently has no thumbnails on it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you how to get it set up. So first things first, you're going to click on Load. And this screen, you can see, has two tabs here, Member List and New Cards. And our member list, since this is a new, um, a new account, has no cards in it. So we're going to want to go over to the New Cards tab. This is where you will add cards to your account. Um, up here, it says the number of cards displayed. It also has all of the girls available for both Muse and Aqua. If you, by default, all of the girls will be available in the list at the bottom. But if you only want to look for particular girls, you can toggle them on and off here in the menu. You can also tog toggle on and off attributes here. So if you want to only look for smiling cool cards but no pure cards, like that. Uh, rarity can also be toggled. And idolization, either unidolized or idolized, only one at a time can be selected. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and sort of make our save file. So we're going to want to choose a girl. So for instance, if I did this for, say, my Japanese Oshimen account and I wanted to do Mari, I could say, I pulled this Mari. When you click on a card, it's going to bring up this menu and it allows you to choose whether you idolized or did not idolize the card, the number of skill slots, and the skill level of the card. So let's just say I pulled a million of Maris, apparently. Uh, then you hit OK. That card now moves in the Waiting to be Saved section, and you'll see that the icon changed to be her idolized version. Now, you can scroll back. You can store a lot of cards in this Waiting to be Saved section. So, um, for instance, I want to be able to see more cards for one. Uh, so I went up and clicked on 54. I can add another Mari here. And is it? And another one. All right, at this point, when I've added the cards that I want to add, I'm going to click on the Save feature at the top. This will bring up a menu with a Japanese prompt, which as far as I can tell says, Name your account. So I would call this JP Oshiman Mari. And hit OK. And that says it was saved. <laughs> um, and I hit OK. And now you'll see that the name here has changed to JP Oshiman Mari, and that when I go to my member list, those cards are now down here in the contents. From this member list, once you have cards down at the bottom, these can also be toggled on and off, just like on the new cards screen. At this point, with a member list, say I idolized this card, I can come in here, idolize her, and it will update. Hit save. So your account is saved through the cookies on your computer. So you'll notice that I started this in incognito mode because my cookies saved my account. So I'm going to switch over to that uh, to show you a little more functionality because um, obviously it has way more cards in it so we can do a little bit more play. So again, uh, here we are again uh, in my non-incognito mode. So you can see my cards here in thumbnail mode. 
Again, first time you come back to the site and you click Add Cards via Thumbnail, it provides you with this drop-down menu. So if you did, if I had multiple documents or multiple accounts here, I could select one, and then you hit Load, and that should load your cards. So here's my EN server cards. Um, again, if I wanted to add new cards, you add from here, and they would be back on my member list. The second thing that you want to do after you've added all of your cards is that you want to add your school idol skills. So over here in the left hand menu is an add school idol skills option. You're going to click into here. Again, it will prompt you to select which account you want to pick. So I'm going to pick EN, load new. And you're going to want to do that with whichever one you picked. Now it will give you a list of all of the skills. So you're going to want to go into your account and fill in the number. The options go from 0 to 9 and above, and you can click however many you have. Um, so for instance, if I obtained a pure cross for third years, I could add it here and hit save. Again, hit OK, and it says it's saved. And now I'm going to take it off because I don't have one of those, and I'm going to forget to do it later. Excellent. So now that we've sort of got all of our information in the system, now we get to do what we actually came here for, which is team formation. So over in the left-hand menu, we're going to click on team formation. Now this will give you several options before it actually gives you a team. First things first, you're going to pick the account name. Then you're going to pick mode, which is either Muse or Aqua, depending on which teams you're trying to build. There's difficulty modes here for master, expert, and hard. Um, these are used if you want to get a score or a, an estimated score for a particular song. I generally pick expert. Note that if you pick aqua and master, it won't work because there are no master aqua songs at the time of this tutorial. So I would suggest not having it on master. Go ahead and put on expert. Next thing is attribute. So for instance, I like to start with doing my smile team. So I'm going to pick smile. And then here, if you want to pick a song, you can. Um, it's not necessary. You can also add, um, if you are trying to estimate an actual, uh, an actual score for a particular song, you can also say, this is my approximate percentage of perfects that I get. Um, and if you, and these will be filled in automatically. I guess I should just show you. Here we go. So jumping heart ha is 97, probably seconds. That's 471 notes. And I could say that I play it at 90% perfect, which is a lie, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, for now, I'm not going to have those there because I don't really use them. Uh, so once we've filled in which particular team we want to build, we can generally start by clicking score. This is going to give you the team formation with the highest score potential, including with your school idol skills equipped. It gives you um, the center skill of your the one it suggests for your center. Sometimes it gives you a recommended guest center skill, a total expected team or a total expected score, and your team's total statistics. And then down here, it lists the cards that you would have in your team. Mind you, these are not listed in order from left to right. I know that for particular songs, a lot of times you want to put your on attribute characters in a particular place where they're going to hit more notes compared to off attribute characters. However, this doesn't do that. It just lists them from strongest to weakest and then adds the musical note for which character will be your center. So for my Smile Aqua team, this is what it suggests. It suggests my adorable Rico for my center, and then it has the rest of the cards. You'll notice that Toast Tonica is on here because she's a very good scorer, even though she's not Smile. But let's say, for instance, that you are not a very good player, and you would want more P-Lock. So, okay, so name of the character, attribute, rarity, card set, idolization, whether or not it's idolized, total expected score from that card, and then these three columns are the total expected score based on the score up skill, total number of seconds expected from a P-Lock skill, and expected amount of 
times that you are healed. So say that you are not a very good player, you need more P-Lock on your team, you can click anywhere on the row that a character is to remove her from your team. So for instance, if I want this P-Lock Mari on my team and I want to replace this Hanamaru, I can click on the Hanamaru and Mari will be in her place. It just sort of moves up the list. So if I didn't want her either, I wanted more healing, I could just click down until it was uh, Yohane there. So after you've gotten your team formation, how you want it to be on this page, now we want it to recommend us school idol skills. So if you just click the school idol skill tab once, it will give you a suggested arrangement of school idol skills. However, that is not fully optimized. What you want to do is click and hold on the school idol tab until it reloads the page like this and it will start preparing an ideal sys arrangement and it will start counting down. Now if you have a lot of cards and you have a lot of school idol skills this might actually never automatically time itself out. So generally I tend to give it a minute and a half to two minutes. You'll see your expected score it rises over time as it sort of tries different things out. Um, how it, I'm not going to wait the full time this time, but uh, just sort of wait until you see it not rising anymore, and then you can hit in process, and it will suggest the best arrangement for your school idol skills. You have other options to pick besides score. Live show is what gives you an expected score for a particular song, and it will also give you recommended guest center skills. You can see that the expected score for a song is listed there. You can also ask it to give you a perfect lock based team. So this will rank my Smile Aqua cards in terms of expected P lock. You can also ask for a P lock with heal, for instance, if you're playing something especially difficult, and it will add healing ones in there. Obviously, I don't have a lot of Smile Heal cards. It's just the way my team works. Um, there is also a full combo option, which will give you all of the cards, regardless of team, with the greatest expected P lock. So this is a great option for if you're trying to get those last few pesky full combos. Again, once you're done with a particular team, you can move on to the next one. So I can say, I've done my smile team, now let's do my pure team, and then do your school idol skills. Press and hold. and so on and so forth. So now that you've gotten all of your teams, there are a few other functions that this website allows you um, that I think are interesting. One is the test new cards function. Shoot click. So this will list some of the most recent cards to come out in JP specifically. So if you are looking for older cards, it's probably better just to add them to your team the old-fashioned way via thumbnail, test them out, um, and then take them off of your team to see if they make it. But for these, you can choose the card you like. So for instance, if I do want this adorable Peacock Mari, and say that I would want her idolized with skill level 2, I can hit Test New Cards, and it will rank her based within the cards that I have in my own deck. So since she's a cool card, she would be my seventh strongest cool card, and etc. I believe that is how that function works. I don't use it terribly frequently because I don't play JP that much. Um, <laughs> I do actually have an Oshiman account on JP, so testing new cards is sort of a lost cause. Uh, but for instance, this Yoshiko is very strong. I can say test new cards with her, and she's going to come up, idolize the skill level 2, as my number one in my pure, because my pure teams are weak. Of course, when I was recording, I forgot one of the features. So one more feature that you can use this website for is searching for a particular guest support card. So if you're trying to break into score tier one for a particular event or you're doing token events, uh, this can be very helpful for you.
um, especially if you are able to talk with your friends and are trying to get a particular card that you can use. So for instance, if you are looking for a card with Pure Empress that also boosts first years, you can click those three options and you'll see that it suggests the Smoggy card for the center skill. Or for instance, the second year and it suggests Umi. So this can be very, very helpful for you um, in those particular kinds of events. Now, like I said, all of your data is saved in your cookies on your computer. So if you switch computers or change browsers or are trying to do this at work when you're supposed to be working, you're going to need to export and import your data. So on this left hand side, if you hit export data, choose your account and hit export and it will put all of your information here in this box. From here you can copy paste and save into a notepad document um, or email it to yourself or whatever you want to do. To import data, all you do is paste it back into this box and hit import and it will load all of your cards. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and that uh, it can help you make stronger cards than just picking the you know, auto smile team function on Love Live itself. So uh, great playing everyone and I look forward to seeing you in game.